Hey guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the 10th episode of Darling in the Franks. So. Yeah. I forgot what happened last time. It was oh, the, no, uh, yeah, the Goro big, episode. Goro episode. Big jellyfish thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Anyway, three, two, one, let's, let's jam. jam. <laughs> Cough. <coughs> Is that s Zero? Zero May. Oh boy. Walk into the light. There is peace and comfort in the light. We need to get our own jokes some of these days. <laughs> but that requires us to, like, write and, like, be funny and talented and stuff we're not. Nice shot. Now just stand there. Ooh. Is that supposed to be a big dog? Damn it, Leroy! I mean, so ass. Well, he got it though. He got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blue, but I need that. Would died. <laughs> So yeah, I guess now we get to see how hard it is to compute Zerome as a serious character. After getting all bukkake on like that. Uh, I think puking. Actually, okay. He looks like a little boy who's playing in a toilet with one of those tablets that turns the water really blue. Ugh. Oh. jacket it's in the way i know that's that's what i implied Well, it should give the team more flexibility. So they're that far behind in terms of, like, cultural knowledge. Interesting. It's best to leave our heads alone, Ichigo. Can't touch me. Da -da 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 -da. 
Da-da. Da-da. Good <laughs> news. Nah. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> no, well, I know you're an airhead, Zerami, but come on. To be fair, the guys in Ape didn't really know about the whole thing either. So it makes you think the children are going to know about it. Ah, got him. This was convenient timing for me to leave. Hmm. <laughs> More obedient, huh? Wow, and just when I thought they couldn't look stupider. Really? No, he actually looks more boyish. Right. Oh, come on, Biscuit. That's a backhanded compliment. Come on now. <laughs> wow. So is this like a Hogwarts uh, initiate's first time going to platform nine and three quarters? Just ah! pretty much. Mm. It really looks like a honey hive, like a honey bee hive. I'm guessing that is part of the design. Wow! Just when I thought people couldn't look stupider. Look at the uniforms of the people by the desk. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Girl's like, oh my god, the cheese. Wow. Not sure what's worse, their headgear or their pants. New from the Lady Gaga Fall Collection. <laughs> Fat. Fat. Oh, Aww. how can you say no to those faces? So cute. <laughs> Group Moe. Much At least more, three times more effective. Much more potent. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, they don't want to draw in background characters, so. Note how we're the only ones walking. God damn it, Zero A. Sarome's Big Adventure. What are you uh. doing? Was fun. Oof. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Is he about to stumble on something bad? With his loud mouth, the group should be noticing him missing within like 20 seconds. Mm. Yeah, he's going to stumble upon something bad. Ignored again. Is he going to climb down? Yep. Well... Ow, ow, oh, oh fuck. Oof. Pet mode. Pet mode. They can't take those things off. Oh, Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know how she can see through them. Eh? What's that thing on her chest? You think? Is that supposed to be her heart? Huh.
Ooh. My, what a what a flashing of image is that. Cyclops has not aged well at all. Oh, so it's a giant heroin machine. Oh! Straight to the brain. Pack of dope means straight to the brain? Here's your conflict for the episode, Zerome. No. Apparently, you have a reputation. Who exactly?
He knows too much. I have to kill him now. I think I like this plantation anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it is pretty dystopian. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to make it that far, trust me. <clears throat> huh. <laughs> so you gonna shell? You want me to take it seriously? <clears throat> oh, ow! Wolf. So all the kids are infected with something? Hmm. And maybe in the case of Zero Two, more so than others? Well, I know that Zero Two is part, part Plaxasaur, but. Hmm. Some virus, perhaps, or something that gives them the ability to fight? Or they're maybe not. Inhuman enough to just live in the city. I don't know. But that old lady definitely had a sort of, I almost want to say like alien look about her. Yeah, you know, like humanoid, but not really human. She definitely didn't look right, and then had something that <clears throat> probably went into a port that went into her chest. Something, yeah, something located about where her heart should be. It looks very much like a heart. Well, I know that sometimes you can have a port added into your chest to put it, pump in medication and oh, stuff. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I assume that that's what that was. Mm. Medication, nutrients, stuff like that. Yeah. All the tasteless, this is a very dystopian, interesting episode. Actually, of all the things, really, I'm actually reminded a lot of Wally. The world the humans live in, you know, where everything's really neat and organized for them. And it's so, so clean and sanitary and orderly, it, it's dystopian by default. Huh. It's lacking humanity. Or, yeah, Ryu, as Ryu kind of uh, alludes to, it's probably why Zero Two doesn't like it. Yeah. It's lifeless. <clears throat> right? Damn, that machine. Just signals straight to your brain. Boom, you're happy. Damn. Well, I mean, 
at its base roots, happiness is dopamine being True. rushed through your brain. True. And just different interactions that cause dopamine to affect your brain. Well, in the like lowest denominator of the case. Well, like uh, Morpheus says in the Matrix, what is real? How do you define real? <clears throat> Electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Hmm. Still, yeah, ten out of ten would have a machine like that. Yeah. Where's, no, I wouldn't. Where's the uh, <laughs> simulate getting laid by uh, two Colombian hookers mode? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Uh, oh boy. He's had to put it through so much use. <laughs> Started breaking the hurry said. That one was horrible, bro. Uh, well, yeah, that horrible. was bad. Please leave and think about what you've done. <laughs> but, but yeah, so the so I guess the Parasites are infected with, well, something. <laughs> parasites. parasites, perhaps. Who knows? Or they are. Well, they call them parasites. What if they just are the parasite? Um, I did. I did think it was interesting that uh, sad world. whoever that whoever that lady was, whoever that adult was, hmm. when when she went to go heal the heal Zeromi. Um, she used a robot that was in pet mode. <laughs> or she has said, yeah, I feel it was some settings like pet mode. What? what? <laughs> Who now? And it worked perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's how she figured out his code number and how to call in the, uh, I guess the authorities or the CDC or whatever, the Center for Disease Control for our non-American viewers. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that she's probably Zeromi's mom, too. Um, yeah, either a mom or a, a lab worker when he was really young. Yeah. A motherly figure. Listen, it looks like she really has to work hard to disavow everything. Yeah, this, yeah the whole world is really <coughs> shady. It is, it is classical sci-fi dystopia. Yeah. Classic trigger. Cla oh, classic trigger. Oh, yeah, they do like doing dystopia, huh? Yeah, kill or kill. Some sort of her. magma heart. I, I, I thought it was like medication or some sort of it problem. seems that the adults don't have immune systems, really. Mm. Or maybe yeah, being sheltered in the plantation for so long gives rise to a whole horde of medical issues. Yeah. Or they're just, I don't know, that much part machine now. But... Oh, yeah. They definitely don't. They, yeah, they definitely don't look like your normal human. They don't act like them either. Yeah. Definitely a bit off-putting. Yeah, the grin by the partner was definitely creepy. <clears throat> um, which is again why I like I wouldn't really buy into that happiness machine. Yeah, whatever that machine was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nerve gear. I mean, what? <laughs> Matrix Machine Empire Pod, or Vault of Genova, or yeah, that shit. The machine was showing him some zero two hentai. Ten out of ten would buy then. Speaking of zero two, that zero two smile at the end. With her, uh, with her smile more like. More like. Uh, yeah, she was kind of like I don't know, feeling her fangs. Self dental examination. Well, they're more pronounced than they were earlier. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. She probably bite through a whole cow with those things. Maybe that's why she decided to forego on those tests. Yeah. Ah, I'm afraid she, that the uh, the tests just, are going to show that she's too far. Mm, she's she, turning more into a Klaxosaur, perhaps? Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> it's 
kind of interesting episode. Definitely more uh, world building than the past couple episodes. World building, very much so character building. Uh, as someone in our chat mentioned before we started filming, it's it's definitely more of a thinking episode. Yeah. Nobody seems to want to touch the parasites. Also, the fact that they seem to be using Geiger counters hmm. to test Zerome, which is kind of interesting. But it's something that makes the click of a Geiger counter. Yeah. Anyway, so. Let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're just enjoying our Discord, look for it in the description below. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.